Sturgis, 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 Sturgis. Now even in this situation, it's not necessarily a good stage because um, Sheik neutral is so much better. She just doesn't have a bad stage. No, she does not. Alright, playing some footsies here. Slight lead to the Sheik. Spacing game with that Zara. Yeah, Lucas is spacing is very, very good. Is he wave bouncing those PK fires? Uh, he seems like he is, yeah. Yeah, he's just getting more distance than he would with all those PK fires. Yeah, he is. Oh, damn, that is a dedication to the character. Now the way he's doing that is he has his C-Stick set to special mode. So it makes it a little bit easier for him to do that. Um, is there something wrong with the controllers? Or Okay, they were just showing extreme patience there. Battle of Wits, it's mind games. Yes it is. Elaborate Down throw to up air, got him. Hmm. Alright, Sheik with a slight lead. Um, a back throw or an up throw will definitely put Sheik in a bad situation here. Once Lucas gets a little bit more rage, it will take the stop. And we have Sheik things happening. Who doesn't love Sheik things? Oh, anybody that's playing against Sheik. Tries to go for the stage spike there, I guess the angle a little bit wrong. Do you think Sheik will have an easy time as guarding Lucas? Um, I wouldn't say an easy time, but she can definitely go out there a little bit, I guess. And read the air dodge? Oh, didn't dump He read dump. the air dodge, but he didn't air dodge. Jump, sorry. I mean, I'm attacking on that extra, spent, extra percent very well. Up throw will kill. Reading a book and it expires. Gotta return it to the library. Oh dear. Just trying to get some credit. A little bit of damage going on here. Misses. He's able to fall out of the neutral air there. Yeah, some smash DI out of that. Yeah. Pressing down so rapidly. Don't throw. Nothing. Misses the bouncing fish. Oh, he's going for the back air spike. Going for the height spike. Yeah, that is oh, one of the more extra pressure. And sweet spot up smash will take the game. Uh, we may see a switch to Ness here. What? All right, no problem. Awesome. Go for it, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna need your name and your Twitter. What's up? Okay, name and your Twitter. Name. See that? You're gonna get one of those of your very own, sir. Ah, that's cool. Uh, this doesn't work. Hang on. Why did you give me a pen that doesn't work, Justin? Riley. It works Sabotage. Ago. <laughs> Riley. Whipping boy. Oh no, that ain't legal. <laughs> Let's watch this. This is the best one. Uh, Go to pirate ship. <laughs> Alright, we got Dreamland and we have still Lucas. Nice. Oh, the Nair from Sheik actually beats out the Nair from Lucas. Yeah. Just watching these out in the audience, I thought it was interesting because it's, it was an interesting combination because Lucas has this kind of more projected base has more yeah. of a floaty feel. Yeah. Definitely. And Sheik is, is better at close quarters and a sharp movement, so. Yeah. I mean, Sheik definitely has a decent camp game as well. Yeah. And she has just a, an unlimited number of safe approaches. It's going to make it very hard for Lucas. Mm -hmm. I say some of the worst characters Lucas has uh, matchup wise would probably be Sheik and Fox. Yeah. Just because they're so good at approaching. Right. Okay, B 
you get Thunder will bring him back to the stage. Nice bouncing fish into a corner that went, and we got the spike. And it actually killed Sheik. Usually when Sheik gets spiked, they just come back because, you know, they're Sheik. They can teleport, you know? Yeah. Because, you know, ninjas and things. Yeah, and Smash Logic. I think he was trying to bait him to come off stage so he can hit him with so the there. Yeah. Oh, almost got another one. That definitely would not have killed him. Yeah. Let's drop the back there. We'll not take the stock yet. We're gonna go off screen. Uh, Fortune, I should take it. Yep. Yeah. So only six percent is okay. He will still be failing his map class this year. Yeah. Down the last lives. Last lives, early percent. Basically a even match here. Uh, Lucas is actually taking the lead. Yeah. And that's actually significant putting Sheik above 30% because what that does is that activates rage. So Sheik's combos do not combo as easily anymore, so they have to be more frame perfect. It's something that really affects combo characters. So dealing a little bit of damage to them will actually make it harder for them to combo you. Yeah, they're up there. Oh, oh nice bounce, bitch. Nice him back air, making sure he uses the double jump. Uh, oh, no. nice amount of gets under. He still can recover though. Lucas has that amazing recovery that can take him all the way from the bottom left hand corner black I was gonna say if that bouncing pistol would have hit, he would have had to prove me right. Yeah. Alright, so the side's changing a little bit towards Sheik. Oh, I thought he read the air dodge was gonna up air him there. He had the read and everything, he just didn't up there. Oh, Alright, and there's the back throw. He ain't Ness, but he's related to him. I'm kinda glad, kinda glad uh, Lucas won there. I did not want to hear Lucas. Lucas's scream when he dies is the most annoying sound in this game. Uh, oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Hi everybody, I'm Riley Whipping Boy Shreen. Got that nickname because I'm bad at melee. I'm actually 1-0 in Melee, ever. I've only played one game of Melee. One game of Melee. One game of Melee. I landed three moves. They were all rest. Yeah. Last guy who's on here, Connor. He's the one who introduced me to Melee. I was just god awful. I just couldn't do it. Alright, so there's 1-1 here. Uh, this stage is definitely a lot better for um, Sheik than it is Sheik. Yeah. We're throwing a bouncing fish, bread and butters, bread and butters. Nice pivot grab. Mitchell air into nothing else. Usually you see chains come out of those Mitchell airs, but that was a very good DI out of it. Going on left, trying to take him off screen. Easy recovery, Lucas. Oh, uh, we're going for a harder read. Uh, doesn't get what he's looking for apparently, because he goes just dumps up next to him and doesn't do anything. Good spacing, stopping the bouncing fish with the PK fire. Yeah, when that bouncing fish hits a projectile, there's actually two hits to the bouncing fish, so it'll jump forward and then it'll send it back. Yeah. Very nice pivot down smash there. Just throwing out these wave bounce forward bees. Just trying to space himself out. Down throw it up there, will that take the stock? No. Next one probably will though. Yeah. Uh, there, up there. Luke is trying to stay alive. Yep. Trying to get on as much as he can. He should be fine. He should be fine. There he is. Uh, 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 okay. was just kind of kind of scary. Just kind of scary. Testing the limits. Good recovery, good recovery. What he needs to do is try to get back to center stage. Oh, up E. Oh. Nice! The accuracy with these PK fires is amazing. Yeah. I know, whenever I mess around with Lucas, I miss so many of those. He's been connecting on a good percentage. Yeah. And Lucas still with. Oh, that should take it. With one life up, um, so he has a distinct he advantage. He should have been able to jump away from that. I don't know why that connected. That definitely should have been escapable. Yeah. But now Lucas here with a distinct advantage over Sheik. Oh yeah. Huge exit ready going on. 
We like to call that extra credit so good that basically he just boned the teacher. Uh -huh. Oh, back throw will not take it. One thing is Lucas isn't doing that I see a lot of Lucas and Nessus do is when they get somebody off stage, they would use their up beats to such a control and direct out and just throw it out there to limit their options of recovery. And that's and Lucas is very good at that since six around is not only one hit. Yeah. So now we have a max rage sheet. Up throw will take it. Up throw will take it. 